Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. When there's no concern about weakening the building structure in both exposed and concealed locations, cables or raceways can be installed in notches in wood studs, joists, rafters, or other wood framing members in which condition? And the correct answer is when the cable or raceway is protected by a steel plate minimum 1 16 inch thick. Let me explain what we're talking about here. Now, whether you're running through notches or just running in an area where you had to drill closer to the stud than an inch and a quarter, like we learned about yesterday, that if we are boring holes, we have to have that hole at least an inch and a quarter off the face of the stud and off the back of the stud, joist or rafter, in order that if someone's hanging drywall, they're not likely to penetrate it if it is inset. But sometimes you have to drill a hole that is not, you know, inset that inch and a quarter. And the question is, what can we do there? Are we allowed to do it? And the correct answer is yes. When we head to 300.4 in the NEC, it's a very short read, and I want you to read all of it because it's going to cover several very important, important, very important points very quickly. And this is one of them, that if we do have to run through notches in the wood or in holes that are bored closer than an inch and a quarter, we're going to use something like this. If you've never seen one of these, it's literally just a little steel plate. It's got some teeth on it. You're going to take and line it up with where you want to protect, and you're going to bang it onto the stud. That way, when the drywaller comes and installs their drywall, if somebody does go to screw a nail there when they're hanging their drywall or hanging a picture later, for instance, they're not going to shoot it directly into the wiring. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will in turn go out and add value to others. If you ever need anything from me, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com, and you can always head to electricalexamcoach.com for more questions like these. Let's get to it.